Before entering Namibia, we did some research and found there were eight golf courses. We played nine. The first one was Arangamund, Mariental, Amaya, Vindhoek, Orvis Bay, Rosman, Hentis Bay, Sumev, and finally Gobabis. Crossing over from South Africa, we actually stumbled across Arangamund. We didn't know it was there. It was a happy surprise. Being on the edge of the desert, it was an interesting place to play golf. Yep, on the course there's oryx, ostrich and a whole host of other things, but it's also next to the Orange River, so it's a great location for a golf course. Generally, Arangamund is in very good condition. But we did arrive on sprinkler day though. <laughs> Golf course number 38 was Mariental. On the way heading into Windhoek, we stumbled across Mariental too. Mariental, being a desert course, had green teas and green greens, but brown in between. Okay, so um, we're playing on uh, the seventh hole, and as you can see, there's no grass on the fairway. So the rule is, the local rule is, wherever the white markers are, it's not out of bounds, but it is anything this side of the markers fair is on the fairway, and you can pick up your ball, put a tee underneath it, and just tee it up. It avoids damaging your golf club on the hard sand or dust. Right, let's see if we can get there. Although they developed a unique way to play, it was quite pleasurable. It was our first time playing this type of course in Marental, and it was very special indeed. While in Marental, we stayed at River Chalets, but we'll show you more of this in the next video. On the outskirts of Vinduk, we found... A Maya Golf Club. Amaya is on the outskirts of Vindhoek and is a Peter Makovic design in around 2012. Lovely place to play golf, the greens were all true. And I think in some places the bunkers were everywhere. <laughs> Despite the dry weather, when we played the course, it was in very good condition. Arriving at Vindhoek Country Club, it was our 40th golf course of the Africa 100 Challenge and we were met with a fairly lukewarm response, but the course played quite well. There were unique signs on some of the holes, suggesting we wait for the plane to pass before we play our next shot. All in all, the golf course was in good condition and played well. Heading west to the Atlantic, we arrived at Bulvis Bay. A very special course indeed. The greens and the tees were green, but everything else was the brown sand and the greens and the tees really stand out as a result. It's a constant battle to keep the desert out of the golf course. So instead they let the desert in and created bunkers. Which you even had to rake. <laughs> Rosbund is an 18-hole golf course, actually set in the desert. It is unique as it's one of only five desert golf courses with green grass on the fairways, the greens and the tees. The course played very well considering you're in the middle of the desert. The ground staff come in all shapes and sizes. The place to stay in Swakopmund is Desert Breeze. More about this in the next video. Further north up the Atlantic coast is Henty's Bay. Henty's Bay is another course with green teas and green greens and sand in between.
The stark contrast of the green and the sand is amazing and when you get down to the ocean, it's stunning. The green actually looks like it's on the beach. Lovely recovery shot from Sarah. Heading north and further inland, we come across Sumeb Golf Club. Close to Itosha National Park, Sumeb is a nine-hole parkland course. Sarah's getting the measure of the course with the Bushnell laser. The overall condition of the course was good, the fairways were green and the greens ran well. In fact, it took us a little while to get used to playing on fairways that were green. Katfa Keller Resort is the place to stay in Sumeb. We'll show you more about this in the next video. Our final round of golf in Namibia was at Go Barbers. It took us a little while to find this golf course. It was tucked away, but we did find it eventually. Go Barbis is back to the desert. Green greens, green teas and desert in between. The condition wasn't the best the day we played, but the round was still good fun. In the next video, we'll show you more about Namibia and places to stay and some amazing places to visit. Bye.